I never knew it could be like this. Nobody ever kissed me the way you do. Nobody? No, nobody. Not even one? Out of all the men you've been kissed by? <laughs> now that it takes some figuring. How many men do you think there've been? I wouldn't know. Can't you give me a rough estimate? Not without an adding machine. Do you have your adding machine with you? I forgot to bring it. <sighs> then I guess you won't find out, will you? <sighs> Maybe I already know. What's the matter? What are you hinting at? Why, is there something to hint at? Maybe there's been a long line of beach parties. You must be crazy. Am I? What about when you and Holmes were back at Fort Bliss? Did you ever hear of a soldier named Stark? Malin Stark? Why, yes. Why, yes. You knew him too, didn't you? Didn't you? I had to go and forget you were like all the rest of them. Only it's true, ain't it? Well, ain't it? Why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the story. There's always a story. You don't leave a person anything, do you? <laughs> Come back here, Sergeant. I'll tell you the story. You can take it back to the barracks with you. I'd only been married to Dana two years when I found out he was cheating. By that time, I was pregnant. I thought I had something to hope for. I was almost happy the night the pains began. I remember Dana was going to an officer's conference. I told him to get home early to bring the doctor with him, and maybe he would have if his conference hadn't been with a hat check girl. He was drunk when he came in at 5 a.m. I was lying on the floor. I begged him to go for the doctor, but he fell on the couch and passed out. The baby was born about an hour later. Of course, it was dead. It was a boy. But they worked over me at the hospital. They fixed me up fine. They even took my appendix out. They threw that in free. Turn. And one more thing, no more children. Sure, I went out with men after that. And if I'd ever found one that... Karen, listen to me, listen. I know. Until I met you, I didn't think it was possible either.